boys and girls, let's do a little bit of math together. We've been working on counting objects. We've been working on rope counting, counting one to a hundred, and we've been doing a little bit of addition. So we're gonna try and do kind of a little bit of it all together right now. So one of the things that we looked at for some of us, we've been working on identifying the numbers one through three. So we're gonna do that real quick, okay? So some of my friends, you who are lurk working on one through three, pay attention, okay? This is number one. We also know our number one, how about we say it looks like this with our touch point number, see? One. Just like we have one ball. See, here's the ball. We can count it by one. The same we can do with our touch point, one. Perfect, okay? Then we have the number two. This is number two. And we look at it with our touch points like this. One, two. This is the number two, four. What do you think it is? Two pigs. One, two. The two pigs. Then our other number that we've been looking at is number three. And we have our touch points, three. We can count it as one, two, three. Just like we have three cars. One, two, three. Three cars. Awesome. Now we've also been using our touch points for addition and solving problems. So we are going to quickly look at two of our word problems. So my friends who are on word problems, are you paying attention? You remember when we talk about addition problems, we have some key words that we're looking for. The things that teach us to add. We look for the words all together. We look for the words in all and we looked for the word total. And then yesterday, we learned a new word. We looked at the word sum. Hmm. Let's see if we can solve these two word problems. And my friends who are working on addition, you can help us with the counting. So here's our first problem. Jim has one red kite. Bob has one blue car. How many toys all together? If we look at our little chart, all together is right here, and it tells us to add. So this is our, ah, this is our keyword, all together. Now we have to look for the numbers that we need to use. Here's number one. Here's the other number one. So we are going to add one plus one. Are you ready to count it, my friends? Here we go. One, two. We'll write two. We have two toys all together. Perfect. Let's try one more. Tom has three soccer balls. Jen found three more soccer balls. How many do they have in all? Do you see the keywords we're looking for? We can use our chart to help us. I see the words in all. That means add. So if we look right here, in all teaches us to add. Now let's find our important numbers. We have Tom has three soccer balls and Jen found three more. So we'll add it together. All right, my friends, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We'll write the number six. There are six soccer balls in all. Perfect. You guys did great. Thanks for working with me. 
you've got some math activities for looking at numbers and colors and adding in your seesaw. Go on and get started with those. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.